Hey peoples, this is Cameo Punk and welcome back to Cardinal Cross. Um, last time there was a gunshot from the military. Valerie could potentially be hurt or dead. I have no clue. Um, and, and also things got intimate. That that part happened too. Now, how could I forget? It's the freaking thumbnail for the last episode. So we're gonna jump right back, jump into it. Um, we also know that Pisces is in the process of crossing the, um, council that she just became a member of. So let's, let's see. Chapter 5, The Martyr. It's so cold. I'm so cold. How long has it been exactly? I need to get out of here. Valerie, it's my fault. Please be alive. Please. She's very distraught about what happened to her sister. Alright, let's go, Raider. To where? You're being sent to maximum security. You must have peed off the wrong people. Do you know anything about my sister? Is she alive? Her name is Valerie. Valerie Bryce. I don't even know who you are, honey. I'm just here to take you to Max. So that's just a guard. This guy, the this dude in white, his name is Vitens. It's been two weeks, she had the word. He is a pain in the butt throughout this entire series. He's been a pain in the butt. Like, you can't be mad at him because he's doing his job. He's supposed to do what he's doing. But he's just, he's like, it's like he has no compassion whatsoever in any part of his body. Anyway. What about her VX? Did you find anything useful? No, sir. The implant was an older model. Second hand. Her memory data is mostly corrupted. Convenient. Would you like me to contact the intelligence? We can always use a FETIF for a thorough data search. No, this is a military matter. I will try to reason with her first. Yes, sir. Has she been informed about her sister? No, not yet. Good. Keep it that way. Videns, you called for me? Yes, how are you feeling? Ready for duty, sir. Do you want to join me for the interrogation of Lana Bryce? She may be less reluctant to speak if she sees a familiar face. I've only spoken to her once, Videns, and it wasn't on friendly terms. I doubt it will change anything. I wasn't asking. Yes, sir. That's her dad. That's daddy. That's her daddy. The unrest in our borders is growing, and Liberia is taking advantage of it. They can't be allowed to become the voice of independence in Raider territory. They have a bloody and violent history. The people won't forget about Liberia's past easily. Libra or Liberia? I don't... I, it's weird. Gemini. Uh... Where am I? My brain just, like, went out the window. Okay. Enemy of my enemy. They will make temporary truce with Libra if we promote them to be a more dangerous opponent. We hold the leash of Libra. Worrying, worrying about it is pointless. We cannot allow our involvement with Libra to go out on the surface. Why is this got me the all look for freaking Leos? I mean, come on. It's a freaking lion. Do you have to put so much emphasis on freaking fur? Anyway, I'm just writing. Aegeus needs to be more careful while questioning Raiders civilians. During their investigation on redder planets, we are turning them into martyrs. Is the soldier who shot that raider doctor being investigated? We need to show good faith. Even if it's just for show. The rogue Egon needs to be dealt with, with the help of the raider people. Call it a joint effort, or GS will be the spark of another war. We need to keep the raider sympathizers' media under control. We can't have them broadcasting anything we don't want them to troubling times ahead of us. 
Let us find this Howler as soon as possible, and make sure that they don't play part in the upcoming Cardinal Cross. I'm not doing voices, because it's way too many characters to keep up with. So, it may be a change of tone, but there's there's not going to be any uh, voices, specific kind of voices. Um, let's see here. An explosion rips through the protest march in the Ashinda capital, Skuna, killing at least 23 people and wounding more than 100 officials say. Oops! I'm killing more than a hundred officials say. A blast hit Zivert Hill as thousands of people marched to demand human rights for greater planets during the galactic investigations conducted by Aegeus military. Though, although there are more than 80 raiders born in the protests, the majority were Morian civilians who were hoping to end discrimination against raiders. Sergeant Chris Jansen of the Aegeus Military 6th Regiment is the first of these three soldiers accused in the ill treatment of raider civilians during the Peon 5 investigation of the Egon that went recently went rogue. His actions on the raider planet are currently under strict investigation by judicial authorities. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'll just let him go with a pat on the back. Typical. So she got out. I'm going back. It's been weeks. There's nothing you can do on Peon 5, Wiz. Don't speak to me. This is your fault. I should be there. Val is a sister to me, too. Egon is right. There's nothing we can do right now. Peon 5 is filled with Aegeus soldiers and bureaucrats. You can't set foot in that planet without alerting the entire Aegeus regiment. You only make that worse. So this guy, Carol, has all the information that you need to know about the last war that just happened. Like, what caused it and everything. Wiz is the owner of the ship that's been used in the last couple of episodes. And Egon is the uh, rogue member that everybody's trying to go after that Lana has associated herself with. See. What am I supposed to do then? Wait! Valerie is in the hospital. Lana is locked up in God's nowhere. We'll find her, Wiz. I promise. Keep your promises. She went there to save your butt. As soon as we are done with this mission, we will find her. Screw you all. She's not happy. She not a happy Liz. You gone? She won't leave. She's not stupid. Just give her time. I don't have time. I need to get back before Capricorn and Virgo find proof of my involvement in your case. Those two are buddies, by the way. Okay. Lana Bryce. I remember you. Back on the Solaris. The not general. Yes, we did meet under difficult circumstances. I am the second Videns of the Aegeus military. I am also the one in charge of catching and bringing the Egon back to the system for his trial. And this is my first, Pisces. We've met before. Yeah, my sister saved your life. I'm grateful. Valerie, is she okay? Please, I have to know. I'm sorry, I'm not authorized to give you any information about your family at this time. I truly regret the involvement of your family in this case. Egon's can be very manipulative, and we do not blame you for wanting to help him escape. Do you always arrest people you don't blame? You have to understand. Egon is the real threat to the galaxy. If he succeeds, he will start a war none of us want. We need your cooperation, Miss Bryce. Can you have asked it nicely before the torture bits? Enhanced interrogation techniques, not torture. <laughs> it's torture! Shut up! Our methods so far have seemed completely failed. Pioneers are always the hardest ones to crack at, but... What do you want from me? Miss Bryce, tell me, what do you know about the Egon's plans? Or somehow, did he never share it with you? I thought so. If I may ask, do you know anything about the Rose Palmer case? What's that got to do with anything? Everything. Please answer his questions. 
I don't know how much... I don't know much about her, to be honest. She was a raider Egon who went rogue and blew up a Morai space station. She was very smart and talented Egon. She even... She even... She could even become a Rayon had she not betrayed the system. When she went rogue, none of us could believe it. Some of us even thought she was still undercover. She was sent after the leader of an active Morion separatist group. His name was... E Edwin? Ed Edwin? Ewan Edwin? I hate pronouncing names. I can't... Ah! Reynolds. Hmm. Try me cutting them very dangerous. <sighs> it was supposed to be an easy job for Egon of her talents, yet she could never catch the guy. Her reports would never reach the headquarters in time, sometimes for days, sometimes for months. Bad intel, wrong coordinates. She started work to work for him. With him. It wasn't long before we found out that he was in fact a howler. It made sense. Only a Howler has the power to turn someone as loyal as Rose Palmer against the system. Of course, it would be wrong to blame it all on the Howler himself. It was Rose who made her choices. She chose destruction over peace, as and I was forced to eliminate the threat. Is this a heroic tale about how you got your promotion? I assure you, a promotion was the last thing on my mind at the time. She was my she was the mother of my son, Miss Bryce. Rose Palmer was my wife. Oh, Egon's mama. Your son? The Egon, he's your son? Rose Palmer was his mother. And he is following her footsteps. We don't have to be enemies, Lana. Don't you think it's a few enhanced interrogation techniques late for that? Soren is my brother. I wish him no harm. He thinks he can find his identity in this battle. But it's not even his. He's just pretending to feel closer to his mother somehow. Who says I give a bluff about the Egon? He brought me into this mess. Maybe I only help him out in spite of you people. Well, we'll let you think this through. I hope it l you will at least try to see our point of view, difficult as it may be. What do you think? She is stubborn. I'll give her that. You were too passive. She will talk. We don't need to alienate her any further. She just needs time. Check... Check with... The... Something that starts with an A. I need you to fo- I need you focused. You are the only one who can bring him back. I'm focused, sir. Did anything happen between you and person whose name starts with, with an A. No, and it's hardly the place to talk about this. Go see your fiancé. She's worried about you. Of course she is. And Evelyn, never again. This, I'm telling you as your father, never again. Not even for Soren. What? Be merciful? Try to spare your son in some form or way? Talon driver. There you go, miss! I mean, he didn't ask, mind asking her to smuggle him into more territory just like that. What am I doing? But no! We can't go back to Peon 5 because it's full of G soldiers. Sarcasm. That's where we're going. As if Nova Stacia doesn't have any edgy soldiers. Sabretooth! Yes, ma'am. We need to finish the mission, Wiz. Blah, blah, blah. I should just take Aaron and go save her myself. We need your help, Miss Chambers. What the? Sweet baby peas, you are sneaky. I'm sorry, but I didn't intend to escape. How? Where did sweet baby peas come in? This entire thing has had cussing, and the only character has been saying bluff or something else, and now you bring out a phrase that doesn't involve cussing? What's up with that? Okay? What's up with that? She doesn't even look like the person that would say frickin' sweet baby peas! Right. <laughs> I would like to assure you that I'm doing everything I can to keep your friend from harm. 
Well, good job with that. Is she very safe right now? I know how Aegeus interrogations work. She has time. Please don't worry. She has time? Seriously? What the hell is wrong with you people? She has time. Quotations. She's my friend. My sister even. Every second she has to stay in that place. Every second she has to go through the gods know whatever they're doing her will never be forgotten. Not by her and bet your worthless life on it. Not by me. I'm truly sorry. I don't need your apology. I need you to save her. I will do everything I can, but I need your help first. This is a borderline threat. I'm sorry if it sounded like a threat. It was not my intention. I wish there was a way we could have saved her sooner. What do you need me to do? We need you to fly us to an abandoned factory at the edge of the Morai system. Fly you there or smuggle you there. Cause you know, there's a difference. But don't ask me what that difference is. Smuggling won't be necessary if we take the right route. However, we do need to be as careful as possible. It may be an abandoned factory, but it's still in Morai territory. Is it going to be dangerous? Hopefully not for you. When are we leaving? Tomorrow. Good. The sooner this is done, the better. Here we go. Bryce. Are you the new interrogator? No, I need to speak to you alone. What do you want? Back on PF5, you told me it wasn't the raiders that started the Twelves War, and that you had proof. Did I? I don't remember. Look, I'm loyal to Morai. I really am. But maybe I was a little narrow-minded. Yeah, don't say. Isn't dogmatism a mandatory job? requirement for OG's military. I thought I loved the system with all its shortcomings, but I have to know, Anna. I have to know if our entire history is a lie. We are born and raised with heroic tales of our, about our ancestors, how we won against the raiders who attacked us for our minds and our technology. How we built a Fita to resist the attacks of your people. How we saved the smaller planets from destruction or slavery. Building an alliance of mutual trust. These are the stories I grew up reading and watching. So even if there's a small chance of it all being a lie, I want to know it. I have to know it. You sure weren't lying back on P on 5? What changed? I wouldn't even consider listening to your side of the story if my brother wasn't involved. I want to understand. Please talk to me. Basically, a few years ago, a Morayan professor discovered some files about the Twelve's Wars, ancient documents or something, I don't know. It hints at the economic structure of the... something nebula right before the war started. Apparently, we raiders were too poor to even think about attacking you. We didn't even have military power or technology. And Afita was drying up Morai resources, raw materials. Energy, metals, things like that. Blah, 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 blah. So your people decided it was a good idea to build an alliance powerful enough to enslave us raiders for our raw materials. That sounds like a baseless anti-Mori propaganda. We could have negotiated for the materials. No, a galactic recession was on the way and it would have cost way more than you can handle. Galactic wars cost more. Not in the long run, apparently. There had to be some sort of provocation from the raider planets. This doesn't make any sense. Look, I only know we are innocent and that we have proof. I need to see those supposed files myself. Yeah, good luck with that. You won't find his research anywhere on Xnex. He has it on paper. On paper? What is he, paranoid? You people tried to kill him, so yeah, I'd say he's a little paranoid. Sigh. Are you girls done bonding? We gotta go. Kieran? Come on, princess. We can't stay here forever. Here. Is that my jacket? I can bring your gun, unfortunately. We'll have to get you a new one. 
I can't believe you brought my jacket. Wait, Gibby, I do what? What exactly is going on here? Oh, for freak's sake, Lana, what does it look like? We're getting you out. Now, can we move? Take the lower level and try to be stealthy. Right. Stealthy! What? I'll quietly shoot them. Can you unblock my network services? No, that's an automatic procedure. You can keep your installed upgrades, but transmissions, transfers, and messages, any kind of incoming or outgoing information is blocked, including the updates and the repair systems. Necessary precaution in here. It'll be working properly once we are out of the station's range. Right. Crap, come here. Patrol. Where are we? Shh. I didn't even... Shh. Fine. Pisces, where are you taking the prisoner? Sorry, Mills. They had helmets on. How did you... There shouldn't have been a patrol here. Helmets, though! Kieran, we're almost there. Get the ship ready. Um... What did you do? I told you I need a uniform. You had... You had one job, Kieran! One job and you failed! Besides, I doubt my clothes would fit you. Rude. Just make sure the port is clear before we arrive. No promises. I need a gun. No, you don't. You need me to watch your back in here, Pachas, or at least let me watch mine. You're not getting a gun until we get out. They are tagged. End of discussion. Just give me yours then. You can handle yourself without it, obviously. I... I don't have a gun. I couldn't pass the psych evaluation. What? I don't want to talk about it. Seriously? I don't want to talk about it! You know, I can just take that guard's gun. I'll drop it at the port, I promise. Twelves, you are persistent. Just let me unblock, unlock the safety. They're connected to a GS implants. Alright, P8751-B3, Division 563. Happy. Very. Bryce, what are you doing? I need answers now. What happened to my sister? What happened to Valerie? Lana, it's not the time. I'm not going anywhere until I know what happened to my sister. She's alive. She's still in the hospital, but she will live. Is it critical? Is she conscious yet? No, it's not critical, and yes, she is awake. That's all I know, I swear. Thank you. I was being honest when I said I didn't want to be your enemy. You're becoming friends! And maybe, if they're still alive at the end of this, possibly sister-in-laws! The factory was built on an old space station. It was abandoned after the company shut down due to an error in mass production. Nevertheless, approach with caution. There may be a scout drone still lurking outside. You do realize I can't take the drones out, right? Arion isn't armed. We'll take care of it. Professor, have you figured out how we can modify Aaron's power core with the artifact? Modify her with... With what? With what? I need to take a look at the older data first. It's gonna take some time. Radar channels are slow and filled with junk. It's hard finding useful information in there. Besides, I need Wiz's help. I know nothing about ships. Yeah, I'm not helping anyone until I get Lana to safety. I'll find her, Wiz. I promise. Uh-huh. Alright. Out, you all. I need to focus. The cockpit is too small for you all to fit in. Go wait in the common room. I'll let you know when we are close. <laughs> I'll find her? What? You can't promise her anything. Even if we find the Howler's location, we may not be able to get her out safely. What if they found out that she is... They didn't. We don't know that. They didn't, and I'll get her out. There's a reason why I left you to read your own charts. But that doesn't mean you should go around putting your life in danger needlessly, especially concerning a Howler. It's... 
our fault she's in there, Aaron. We just can't sit still and do nothing. Maybe we should. A howler's influence works both ways. She may give you more time, but she may also shorten it, Egon. Then you shouldn't have played God and stuck me with her in the first place. I'm dying, Aaron. You can't stop it. It's a strong square. We've both seen it. I know it's close, but we have time to help an innocent girl who got in the way of our fight, our responsibility. No, you can't die! I know you're blaming me for her capture. No, I'm blaming me. I should have been there with her. She went there alone because she didn't trust us, and honestly, I can't blame her. You're the only person who can shut down a Fida Sorin. Do I have to remind you of the consequences? How many more people will get hurt for us to succeed? How many more will if we don't? That's, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Ignore the mess on my bed. Destination? Lana, where is he? Where is my brother? I don't know the exact coordinates. He was supposed to meet a friend of my friend of his on a Zuno Luminous terminal. Must be Aaron. It won't be easy finding them with him on our side. On their side. Can't you call him with anonymous Aegeus channels or whatever? There are no anonymous for Egon and Auditor working together. Us unimportant people will have to use traditional methods to find them. Like follow digital print footprints? No, I'll just ask around. Sounds promising. Sorry I couldn't be more help. It's okay. Besides, I should be the one to apologize. I know our, our interrogation can be challenging. Yeah, you should be. I'll never be able to ask for ice with my water from now on. You're like my sister. She doesn't like ice in her drinks either. Back to the council. You know, I'd totally go for it if you were a little younger. I haven't called you here, called you here on personal matters, Pisces. Oh, thank the Twelves. That would have been so awkward. I heard you sent an auditor on a mission to Azuno. Care to explain? I just suddenly craved Azuno peaches. I keep seeing them flying around in my dreams. Strange how the conscious works. Your face is exponentially surly today, Capri. Got treatise again? I thought it was a little strange. You usually prefer to handle matters on your own. Am I being interrogated? I'm just asking a simple question. There was a glitch in my planetary chart reports. I think there may be a possible Howler artifact on Azuno. Since when do you check your own reports? Are you sure this isn't an interrogation? Because it feels a lot like one. Apologies. We have been a little on edge ever since the reports of the approaching Cardinal Cross. Don't take it out on me, Capricorn. I don't have an answer to you. I'm a Rayon, not an Aegeus puppet. You know what I'm capable of. Indeed. Is, cause, is the tattoo supposed to be indicative of Capricorn? Let me get this straight. You let a high-priority convict escape out of a maximum security ward in a patrol ship of our own? She had an inside help, sir. Who was it? It was your first Pisces, sir. The mercenary from Solaris incident was also with her. <coughs> Put a bounty on the stolen ship within the shroud. They couldn't have gone too far. They can kill the mercenary, but leave Pisces and the convict alive. Dismissed. Oh, daddy, daddy not happy. Daddy not happy with daughter. Dad, 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 dad not happy. This is getting me nowhere. I need better sources. Why are you looking at me? I need a Fita. No. Come on, I can't find the information I need about the artifact on there. Afia's databanks are enormous. So is the network security. Do you think they just let me wander in? You used to feed it when you need to infiltrate me on Xeron 3. You did what? It's just for a minute. He's exaggerating. Are you out of your mind? He left me no choice. He wouldn't come with us. With good reason, too. I don't particularly enjoy flying on a junk. Junk? 
You can't use a feat of Egon, not till we get Sin. It's too dangerous, even with your mind. I know. How long until we get there, Wiz? A few hours at least. I'm using secure routes to get out of Azuna borders without Aegeus interception. But it's going to be filled with raider pirates. Cool beans. Don't insult Wiz's ship. If this means anything, don't insult her ship. Pirates in range. Will they be a problem? Yes. Name? Dispatcher. Heard of it? No, are you sure it's not registered? I know the dispatcher. They are corsairs working for the Shroud. The Shroud? Sounds ominous. It's a Morine underground network. Aegeus and system intelligence work with them often. Off the record, of course. We use them when we don't want to get our own hands dirty. They are contacting us. I'll direct you to the ship. Marauder, this is Dispatcher. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Captain. What do you need? Listen, we have a sick sieve on board. Needs immediate medical attention. We don't have a medic on board, Miss Dispatcher. What can we do? Yeah, I figured as much. Do you happen to have any Lexter draw crates left? You know what? I'm not sure. We might have to use we might have used it all on our last mission. Let me check and I'll get back to you. Don't take your time. It's a trap. There's no way they cruised out this far without Lexdraw. Thought so. We cannot rut them, they are armed. I guess this is your dad's way of saying we can't be friends. He never proved any of my friends. So what's the plan? I have an idea. Remember Yoshion? Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but it sounds like it's gonna be good. Oh, I'm a blank. Sir, the dispatcher fail has dip the Sir, the dispatcher claims to have found the missing patrol ship, but they say they will only speak to you. Connect us and check their location with the Fita. We don't have the intelligence authorization to use a Fita at the time. Do you want me to No, Ensign. Just use it without the authorization. It's an emergency. I can't deal with the director at the moment. Yes, sir. Directing the call to you now. Dispatcher, this is first Videns of the Aegeus military. You just said you were second Videns of the Aegeus military. I heard you have found my missing patrol ship. Yeah, three people on board. Two raiders and some Aegeus LT. I'll send you the coordinates when I have the trites. And how do you know they are telling the truth? You don't. There's a maximum security convict in that ship, Captain. I suggest you play nice. Blonde, blue eyes, tough look, I, ID reads Pisces, Evan Delaney, commendations, and all that's bad enough. That will suffice. You receive your payment within a minute. A minute? Are you joking? I've dealt with a GS before. Transferring funds takes sec 10 seconds tops. More I to Raider outgoing transfers from the Rayon Nova station. You need to go through several security checks. I can cancel the order of payment now if you'd like to pick it up yourself. 77.88.01.2522.25 Don't be late. I'll kill your LT if you don't receive the payment within a minute. Ensign. It's the right location, sir. Afita confirmed. Good. Send a... Videns. Director. Care to explain why your IT team was in my servers? A convict escaped to maximum security and stolen one of our patrol ships. And you need Afita to track down this patrol ship down. Don't look at me like I'm stupid. Yes. How curious. Must be a very dangerous criminal you are after. You know, I've changed my mind. I'll give you an Egon for this case after all. There's no need. My men can handle it. Oh, please. It's always a pleasure to help an old friend. With all due respect, security awards are not the intelligence business. With all due respect, my using a feat by using a feeder without my permission, you've made it my business, Videns. Don't worry. Unlike your son, 
the Egon I will be sending likes to get the get results. Dun dun dun. Make sure you memorize the fastest route to the exit. I don't think we'll have any surprises, but better be on your guard. Once the auxiliary security controls are shut down, you'll enter the access codes and... You know, I got the first time memorized it the second and it got a bit boring the third time, but it's downright torture at this point. You know, some studies show boredom actually kills people. If I hear you talking about the separate security station bits one more time, I'm throwing you all out the airlock. Even the airlock joke is getting old. Who said anything about joking? I'm just... Meticulous. Cautious. Fussy. I am the only one who actually cares about the fate of this galaxy. Yeah? <laughs> We're just teasing you because we love you, Aaron. Speak for yourself. I don't even like any of you. Not even me? I thought we were getting along. I'm shutting the intercom. Lana. Lana, what about her? I can hear her. Uh, I don't hear anything, Kit. Nothing, Professor. Egon, what do you hear? Emergency signal. Very low. The line is broken. 012225. It keeps repeating 012225. Does that mean anything to you, Wiz? No. <laughs> is she still off the grid? Yeah, I just checked. Are you sure it's Lana Egon? None of us can reach her. She is using a GS channel to bypass the block, like a weak beacon. I'm sure it's her. Can you track the transmission? Not without using a Fita. Oh, one, two, 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 five. Could that be a stellar location code? If it is, it's still missing the system codes, Professor. Stellar location codes are made of ten digits. Egon, what are the location codes that start or end with 0122225? It could be anywhere. I can't pinpoint it without the exact code. It's a distress call. She can't be too far. Do you think she escapes? The transition is weak, but she must be close to an Aegea station, but not in the complete blocking range. Of course she escaped. Why the hell would she be sending a distress signal call near an Aegea station, though? Are you sure it's not a trap? It sounds a lot like a trap. It's- no, it's not. She's pulling a Yoshion. What's a Yoshion? We were carrying a huge pile of Franium scraps near Yoshion 15 border a few years ago. A pirate ship caught up to us, chased us all through the- chased us through all the debris way. Lana sent a distress call to all the ships in range, causing a bunch of other pirate ships to find our location. You got them to fight each other. Most of these ships smuggle pricey artifacts back and forth, so they are almost always loaded. Way more expensive than anything we could have carried. Smart girl. Yeah, but it also means she's in danger. We need to find her, now. She'll be heading back to Azuno. That's where she thinks we are. I'll cross-reference it with possible locations close and en route to Azuno. Check near the debris fields. We can use these fields to avoid Gia's patrols nearby. It's a raider's trick. Got it. I have three possible locations, and only one of them has a Geo space station nearby, sending the coordinates. It's a long shot. It's still a shot. Leaping in 20. Hold tight. Well, I wasn't expecting that chapter to end so quickly, to be honest. That was actually pretty good. Still wasn't expecting it, but they did find her, and that was actually a pretty short chapter. I was not expecting- most of these chapters have lasted like an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour long. None of them have like ended about 30 minutes, like, have been on for about 30 minutes long. But that is chapter 5 of Cardinal Cross. Uh, so we're doing a Yoshion. Anybody want to create an out a spacey form of Yoshi? Call it a Yoshion. There you go. <laughs> um, but other than that, again, that's chapter 5, The Martyr of Cardinal Cross. Lana is out of prison. She has Paisha. She has the raider that she was friends with, Carrion, who is now trapped on a patrol boat that is being targeted by a pirate ship. 
that is being sent to her after Videns because she has escaped with the help of his daughter and a... Is it assassin? I don't know. But they're that. They've sent a distress signal. Wiz and the others have been sent out to try and go find a factory. Egon has somehow managed to pick up on the signal that Lana has set out and they are now on the way to go find her. So when we pick up, we'll hopefully get to see them reunited. But that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy this Cardinal Cross series, you can go check it out. You can go find it on Steam. There's a link for it down below in the description. You can also There's also a link to um, M Queen's Patreon. It, I've been a fan of her work before. I even started doing uh, YouTube videos because she created like several different games. She also has another visual novel that I might go back and record again called Ascension. It's just a three chapter series, but it's really, it's a really good series. It's the first one she ever kind of created and put it on her website. And then she went forward into Cardinal Cross, going further into that. There was another one she was working on called Calling Cypher. It is out, but I don't know if it's out on Steam. It could just be a free game that you could find on the internet. Um, uh, other than that, this has been your Casual Gamer, and I've got nothing else to say about Cardinal Cross or anything else other than, bye guys!